Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss the diagonalization method for the working rule for 3 cross 3 matrix. Okay, we are going to discuss 3 cross 3 matrix here. So how to do the procedure is the same. But difficulty comes where I'll just tell you. So we'll go by, we'll use calculator also by doing that also and by the normal method also we'll try to do. Okay, so first step is that you have to find the characteristic equation for the given matrix. So you have two methods, but I'll go by the simpler method. Lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 equal to zero. Now here you can use any of the alphabets, okay, it depends on you. So this is basically the characteristic equation where S1 is the sum of the, so we'll find out S1, sum of the main diagonal elements, 3 plus 5 plus 3, 3 plus 5 plus 3, it is uh, 11. S2 is nothing but the minor or the cofactor of the diagonal elements. Okay, so each diagonal element you have to find the cofactor. For 3, what will be the cofactor? Determinant of this part 5 minus 1. Carefully you have to observe. Okay, plus for the 5, 3, 1, 1, 3. For 3, it is 3 minus 1 minus 1 5 okay now after you have to find the determinant okay so 5 3 is 15 so this will be 14 plus 3 3 is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 this will be again 14 so after adding this you will get 36 now you have to find s3 so s3 is basically the determinant of the whole matrix so i'll take the first row and find out so 3 into 14 minus of minus 1 into minus 2 plus 1 into minus 4 okay I hope you know how to find out the determinant okay now the next thing is that you have to just simplify this this will be 42 minus 2 minus 4 is equal to 36 now after finding all this you have to just substitute here so you'll get lambda cube minus s1 what is s1 here it's 11 so 11 lambda square plus s2 what is s2 here 36 lambda minus s3 is again 36 which is equal to this one see we found out the characteristic equation now after this from this you have to simplify now the problem comes here this is a cubic equation now how to proceed we can't go by if it was a square like a quadratic equation you can go by the splitting the middle term many methods are there but this is a cubic equation the thing is that we have two methods so i'll show you the two methods one is a synthetic division okay synthetic division and one more is the calculator by using calculator also you can do if you have calculator you can do by that also so first we'll choose the calculator okay now here what you have to do press mode go to equation because this is the equation choose the cubic equation that is the fourth option okay now here you have to give a value b value c value that means coefficient of a b c, uh, sorry coefficient of lambda cube like that okay so coefficient of this is 1 plus equal to minus 11 36 and minus 36 6 you will get okay so what are the values we'll just check it up 6 3 and 2 so we got the values it's simple 6 3 and 2 are the eigen values now the thing is that by doing synthetic division without the calculator also you'll do i'll show you just so what is synthetic division so it's basically this so what you have to do you have to take the coefficient of one each one this is the coefficient of i'll just tell you lambda cube lambda square lambda and constant okay so you have to choose the coefficient of all this now this you leave okay first you have to choose then you have to check one by one what you have to check you have to put here one minus one two minus two three minus three like that you have to check whether the remainder you are getting zero or not if you are getting the remainder zero then that will be the one of the eigenvalue now i'll just tell you so i have checked already so basically when you put one here and try to do i'll just tell you how to do the synthetic division i have chosen here two okay you can choose one minus one also two first thing here you have to put zero it's the 
method okay here you have to all time all the time you have to put zero now one plus one add this one plus zero is one then from here you have to multiply with this one into two is two minus 11 plus 2 add 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 okay minus 1 minus 11 plus 2 is minus 9 minus 9 into 2 is minus 18 36 minus 18 is 18 18 into 2 is 36 observe this okay minus 36 plus 36 is 0 so i am getting the remainder this is basically the remainder okay yeah i am getting the remainder as 0 then therefore this term this number is the eigen one of the eigen value not the eigen values one of the eigen value now after that what we'll do okay after that basically after this you have to take lambda square don't think that this is a, a lambda cube thing and put lambda cube here okay no this is a three things are there so basically this is lambda square lambda constant so lambda square minus 9 lambda plus 18 equal to 0 you will get the equation after getting this equation you can simplify by the splitting of the middle term or you can choose any of the methods by calculator also you can choose uh, you can do after that you will get these two values from that and again you had this value already that is 2 so you have got the same values as here that is 2 3 6 but it's like a time consuming way if you are a bit faster you can do by this method here but what the thing is that you have to choose one first then minus one then two then minus two see i have tried it already that's why i have chosen here two already okay so that's the thing now after getting the eigenvalues the next thing is that you have to go with the eigenvector that is basically a minus lambda i into x which is equal to zero the same methods okay same method for the this also for the 2 cross 2 and the 3 cross three is the same method the only difference comes here in the simplification of the equation okay now here you have to put 3 minus lambda minus 1 1 minus 1 5 minus lambda minus 1 1 minus 1 3 minus lambda into x what is x we have to assume it is as x y and z which is equal to what zero now we have taken all this we have the values also now the next step is to find the eigenvector by using one one like each value eigenvalue at one time so guys basically what you have to do here lambda is equal to 2 you have to put and you will get this matrix okay in the previous matrix you have to put the lambda value you will get this value this matrix okay then from this you have to understand one thing that I'll just show you, you can go by for every matrix you can, for every when you put lambda value, for everything you can go by reducing the matrix into a clone form. But what I'll do, I'll just you, teach you one more method. So you can easily do, but the condition is there, what I'll tell you, see. So when you have to choose the clone form, whenever you get, see, exactly same rows. Exactly same rows means that the entries of the each row here you can observe r1 and r3 have the same entries that means 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 now both have the same entries that means you have to go for the echelon form you have to reduce this matrix into echelon form that means what i'll do i'll do the row operation you have to do row operation row operation r2 is r2 plus r1 so that i will get here 0 0 and r3 is r3 minus r1 here all the elements will become zero one doubt will be there in your mind i think so the so basically the doubt is can i go for the this one that is r1 is r1 minus r3 at the question anyways this will become this whole first row will become zero yes or no yeah no but the thing is that there is one two conditions important conditions of for the echelon form that is that that the non-zero row non-zero row means the contain uh, the elements should be non-zeros okay the non-zero row and the zero row zero row means the uh, row containing zeros the zero row should be below the non-zero row the zero row should be zero row should be below the non-zero row 
and one more thing is that the leading element for each row should be in a pattern what is that pattern if suppose the here it is first leading element leading element means what when you go from left to right the first element the non zero element non zero element means this is not leading element this is zero okay non zero element means here it is one that means it is non zero so leading element here it is one the next row leading element should be right of this row or this column see here right of this column the third row it doesn't matter because all the elements are zeros these are the condition that's why we cannot use this operation okay even i had this doubt in my mind so i just thought you will have so basically i have cleared this doubt also so basically let us proceed here the equations is here so i have just converted into the equation so here we have two equation this uh, this is zero so we don't have this equation so x minus y plus z is equal to zero from this x equal to minus z i'll get and from this i'll get y is equal to zero when i get y equal to zero so it basically means you have got the y eigenvector y value as zero here it is zero x equal to minus z simple as i have said in the two cross two also whenever you get x equal to minus z or something like this what you have to do here it is with minus one uh, uh, sorry one and here minus one is there you take it as denominator so whatever is there below the uh, variable so x below is one that means it will one z below is minus one minus one over you have to make it unity that's why i have taken minus one denominator okay simple thing simple logics we are applying now the next thing is that now guys so let us proceed with the next one that is lambda equal to 3 you have to substitute the value then you will get this matrix okay now here check whether the rows are similar same or not okay and don't think that this r1 and r2 rows are the same thing exactly same there is a difference between exactly same okay exactly same because here you can see here it is 0 and here it is 1 minus 1 minus some is same but 1 and 0 this I have just interchange here you can go by the acron form method but I will tell you one other method in which you can do it easily that is basically cross multiplication method or Kramer's rule it's the same thing Kramer's rule or cross multiplication method all you have to do is that you can choose here you will get three equations okay simple you can go by echelon form also okay remember now basically i don't like the echelon form so i basically have chosen one other method so this is cross multiplication method all you have to do first take x take two equations okay you can take this two this two any of two you are, you can choose so it's the same thing i will try to uh, will try to understand by this matrix itself so x you have to put divided by equal to y minus y here minus is there minus y by something z by something now observe here this part this is the important part x by what you have to do this is the x part try to understand x y z it's the same thing okay so i thought i explaining from this i have chosen these two equations first two equations that means these two equations coefficients you ought to see that's why i am trying to explain you by this thing okay so leave this whenever you take x by leave this column then you have to see only this part all right try to understand this you have to leave only i'm choosing these two these two rows now minus one into minus one okay one minus of two into one minus two minus of remember it's like determined only minus one into minus one minus two into one that's it okay now minus y is already there it is already present now you have to hide this column and you have to see what this two zero into minus one zero minus one into my uh, sorry then minus of minus one into one that is plus one okay then you have to hide the next one that is uh, z so z by zero into two that is zero minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 but minus sign is already there it's that's why minus 1 it's like a determinant okay you have to find the determinant after that 
you will get x by minus 1 minus y by 1 z by minus 1 all the thing you have to do you have to make it unity so i will remove this coefficients unity you have to make i will put here so i can remove all the minus sign so i will get the vector directly 1 1 1 over case over i have got the eigen vector as what 1 1 1 it's basically x y z 1 1 1 how are you got simple thing as i have said here that is that means you have to make it unity it's the same thing so you can convert into a clone form and try to uh, try to do by that method also you will get the you will arrive at the same answer so next one is lambda equal to 6 okay here also you have to check for the rows are same or not okay so you can observe that they are not same exactly not same so i can go by this method or you can go by the this uh, regular a clone form method also so I have taken this equations again I will go with what the easier method I have chosen that is basically the Kramer's rule or the cross multiplication so I have chosen first two equations so coefficients you have to see you can choose any of this okay you will arrive at the same answer so x by this into this minus this into this I will get this answer so try to understand okay minus y by you have to hide this then minus 3 into this minus of this thing z by this is z okay z by again this one you have to do you will get answer so x by 2 minus y by 4 z by 2 from this i can take 2 2 2 2 common so it get cancelled so arriving at the x by 1 i'll get y by minus 2 i'll get and z by 1 again i'll get simple okay now i have got the eigenvector for this also that is 1 minus 2 and 1 now you have to form the modal matrix that is p column wise you have to arrange the eigenvectors that you have got from the each eigenvalues okay so you can arrange in different way also it depends as i have said already that in 2 cross 2 also the eigenvalues at last you are getting d d in that the changes will be there that's it no other changes you can arrange in different way also now p inverse you have to find because p inverse we need you can use the calculator also as i have shown you in 2 cross 2 also how to do the you uh, using the calculator how to find the inverse or otherwise the rolman method adjoint a by determinant a simple thing so we have found out the p inverse now the next thing next and the foremost thing and the last step is that d is equal to you have to bring all these terms here okay so you have to form minus 1 by 6 outside p inverse is this 3 0 2 2 2 1 minus 2 1 and a is what a is the regular one that you have to form 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 5 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 3 okay then again the p matrix you have to place that is 1 0 minus 1 1 1 1 1 minus 2 1 then after that you have to multiply all this you can use the calculator also and multiply all this you will get the answer as 2 3 6 0 0 0 0 0 0 that's it so this is the diagonal matrix where the diagonal values you can see over here so this is the confirmation you can you can confirm your answer that this is the right answer by seeing this okay so the diagonal elements are the have the eigenvalues so as i have said this method we have to see the condition whether the rows are same or not okay don't directly go by this method or otherwise the regular method if you don't have confusion for the eigenvalue eigen uh, sorry eclant form you can go by that method also it's the same thing